Yo, yo, what's good, everyone? Welcome to my channel. I am a Sage Who Rises. Today, I will be doing the Sun Moon Rising of Aquarius. So, let's get into it. So, angels, little bitch, I for Aquarius. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Okay. So, Aquarius, the first card that came out for you is Hammer. It says Sabotage. So, you definitely have somebody that sabotaged the connection. And now this person is wanting to rebuild it. This is somebody that's not wanting to give up. And it's because they want to work on it. I'm definitely saying that this could be somebody that you had a soul contract with. They just let time waste. This is somebody who was just letting time waste. Yeah. It's like, you're not dealing with it. You're not dealing with it because you could still be hurt. So you're avoiding conversations, calls, or this person. And you're setting boundaries because you're still angry. Yeah, at the fact that somebody was so self-absorbed. This was a narcissist. This is somebody who had you on a one-sided relationship. And they had the nerve to be love-bombing you. This is somebody who was wasting your fucking time. And as they waste your fucking time. And they let time heal. You heal with your fucking self. Now you don't want nothing to do with this person because they stab you in the back. Let me get one more card for Aquarius. Yeah, you're meeting someone new here. And your relationship with this new person is evolving. And it's because this is your twin flame. So, yeah, you could be about to get married soon, Aquarius. But what I'm seeing here is Somebody who sabotages you guys' connection, they now want to come back. And you're like, boop, not today. This is somebody that you was in a self-absorbed relationship with. They were a narcissist. They were one-sided in a relationship. And they was love-bombing you. Now you could be dating someone new. And your relationship is evolving. And it's because he is your yin and she is your yang, okay? So, yeah. I mean, yin. You are his yin. He or yang. But, yeah. It's like you you guys. Y'all compliment each other. Like, y'all two. Like, y'all y'all good together. But you definitely got somebody that's wanting to come in and rebuild something with you. So, why is Hammer here for Aquarius? Why is Hammer here? Exactly. Somebody that's at a distance from you. This could be an Aries, Sagittarius. This person is at a distance from you. They want to communicate with you, whether this is email or text. But they do got a third party here. They could be blocking. So there's a third party here. They could be blocking this person from working with you. Yeah, because they give it to you or someone else. Like I said, they got a third party here. You don't want nothing to do with this person. And you're possibly blocking this person because of their third party. Why is not today here? So you got a king of wands. Like I said, Aries, Leo, or Sage. You also got a king of cups. So there's a king of wands and a king of cups who you're needing to walk away from. And it's because they're lying to you. So it's two masculines here that you're having to walk away from. And it's because they're lying to you. You're going to have to call a judgment. Yeah, you're going to have to call a judgment and put something to rest here. Because somebody is not wanting to reveal the truth. And them not revealing the truth is going to make you walk away. A king of cups and a king of wands. Yeah, and you're not dealing with that shit. At all. Why is the golden mirror here? You was dealing with a karmic. With the lovers in reverse, you are definitely was dealing with a karmic. This could have been a Gemini. This is somebody who was self-absorbed. This was a narcissist, somebody who we was in a one-sided relationship with. It was love bombing you. Now they want to come and apologize after being a fucking karmic. Yeah, they want to come and apologize for partnering up with other people to receive good news. This is somebody who was supposed to invest in you. But because they felt like they was going to get good news if they worked with these other people, they basically, you know, chose the third party. Mm-hmm. And, like I said, you're not dealing with them because they hurt you. This is somebody who, you are avoiding conversation, calls, and just 
this person you're setting boundaries and it's because you're still angry mm -mm -mm. like i said this person was self-absorbed and they was one side in this partnership yeah but you're definitely dealing with a new love here this could be a pisces that you're dating this could have been someone that you met new i'm saying that you're dating you're getting back out there and you could be accepting a water size love offer a pisces to be exact this could be your knight in shining armor but i definitely see that you're heartbroken about this person you could be grieving this person this person could have passed away what what so you could have mm -hmm. Mm. So there was a Virgo and a Taurus who created some type of illusion here. But I'm also saying that you could have been dating someone new. This could have been a Pisces. I'm saying that this person caused some type of betrayal where you couldn't trust them anymore. And now this is causing you to spill a this is causing you to cry with spill milk. I got the five of cups here, so I definitely see that you are in regret. You are in sadness. Three of swords, because somebody broke your heart. Nine of cups, a Pisces. Ace of cups, who you gave your love to. And with the queen of wands, I'm saying that you could have been very confident. Yeah, I'm saying that you confidently walked away with the queen of wands to the eight of cups. Then I seen the five of cups. So you walking away confidently really put somebody in their feelings. This new person that you was dating... Yeah, and it's because of your scrimped. So because you had the scrimped to tame the beast within and walk in whatever energy that you said that you were going to walk in, this is causing somebody to go through sleep that's nice and anxiety. Four of Wands, this could be a twin flame. Mm. That you're holding back from. So you could be holding back at this time, protecting yourself, and... It's because somebody is wanting you to be in this sleepless nights and anxiety. So somebody is projecting on you. This is what this nine of swords is. Somebody is projecting on you. That's Gemini energy. If y'all know Geminis, y'all know Geminis be pulling shit out their motherfucking ass. Okay? If you know a Gemini, they be pulling shit out their motherfucking ass. Okay? Yeah. And because you had the scrimp to tame the beast within, this is literally driving someone crazy. Because they want to come towards you and make a love offer. But you could be listening to your intuition about this love offer. And with this queen of wands, you are confidently, you know, I'm going to say respectfully. Because you got the queen of wands to the knight of swords in reverse. So something that you would like cut up with. Like, nah, nigga, I'm not fucking with you. I already told you. You like, you know what, um... I'm just going to confidently, you know, just close out this karmic cycle. I ain't going to do nothing crazy. I ain't got to turn up. I ain't got to charge at this motherfucker. I'm going to just close out this karmic cycle with this king of pentacles, queen of cups energy. And when you did that, it's like these two people wasn't able to move the karma waters. They ain't able to move the karma waters, Aquarius. And it's because you was able to bring something into balance for yourself. And you bringing something into balance has them unbalanced. Like I said, a relationship is evolving to the next phase. And it's because you're healing your inner child. You're, you're having growth. Yeah, 10 on 1, somebody wanted to weigh you down with responsibilities, with burdens. 5 of wands because they was in competition with you. 10 of swords, so they wanted to defeat you. 6 of wands because you was getting public recognition. This could have been a Taurus. Yeah, or an Aquarius. Now they feeling foolish. So I'm seeing that you got victory and success off over a betrayal here that was meant to, you know, make you combative, but it only caused somebody else to be weighed down. Yeah, and it's because <laughs> you're not slow. You know, a King of Wands is married. There's a King of Wands that's married to a Taurus. Why is Twin Flames here? Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. You could be heavily invested in your Twin Flame. And y'all could be having a brand new beginning in y'all partnership. And this is you guys' karmic justice. After somebody did magic, death magic, over you, Empress, in the past.
somebody did duff magic on you while you were pregnant in the past look at no bro somebody did duff magic on you while you were pregnant bro do you see bro you were pregnant when this person did this duff magic This was a Taurus that was heavily invested in this because you was having a brand new beginning in love with a water sign. And they wanted something to be um fair or balanced. So in the past, this motherfucker did magic, death magic, while you was pregnant. Yes, Queen, Queen of Swords. You got to listen to your intuition because you had uh, the three people working with each other. All because they wanted to receive some good news. So they felt like if they got you rejected by your divine masculine, that this was going to have you in balance. But in actuality, you was able to bring all aspects of yourself into balance. And you got victory and success. Like I said, you was able to get victory and success because you was able to bring all aspects of yourself into balance after your divine masculine rejected you. I'm saying that you received good news after these people were working together. I'm saying that Queen of Swords, you listen to your intuition here about somebody from your past. Because somebody was doing death magic, right? I can't, somebody was doing death magic while you was pregnant. Because they wanted some type of karma or they wanted some type of justice in a partnership. Now this person is feeling foolish for about what they invested in with the Seven of Pentacles. My bad, y'all. My motherfucking nose itch and I don't know why. Yeah, somebody did candle magic to put something to rest with a toxic, obsessive ass. Now they want to apologize. So somebody is wanting to apologize out of being obsessed with putting something to rest for you. This motherfucker took this action to nonstop. Like this person was nonstop. They kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it. Yeah, five of wands because they saw you as competition. Six of Cups and they thought, Seven of Cups, and they thought you was in some type of illusion to whatever it is that they was investing in. Mm hmm This is a weirdo. So what's the outcome of this situation? Yeah, this could have been a third wheel family member. Mm hmm But yeah, this third wheel family member... <laughs> you gotta watch this motherfucker cause they throw salt and they telling on your business mm -mm -mm. that's crazy because I think I got that card I think I got that card I got that card yeah somebody wants somebody wants to seem crazy to get away with murder this is somebody that's spreading rumors to make people view you in a certain way but it comes with a consequence so whoever this family member is that tried to become a third wheel in your partnership, this is the motherfucker that wanted to be seen crazy so they could get away with murder. This is the same motherfucker that was going around spreading rumors to make people view you in a certain way. But like I said, it comes with a consequence. So now they got to take what the fuck they deserve. 